Uh, hi everyone, this is Panda Farm from APU, College of Management uh, and uh, Grad School of Management as well. And my area is Corporate Finance. So please allow me to introduce the, the research uh, I'm currently paying the most effort to. Uh, I'll introduce the uh, background, why it's important for society, for policymakers, as well as for investors. So please recap the, the figure one. Uh, it's related to the uh, carbon emission of Japanese firm from 2006 to 2019. As you can see, that, uh, that is up and down. Uh, even though we have paid a lot of effort in the past decade to reduce carbon emission, but you can see that uh, we cannot see persistent or continuous decline of carbon emission, highlighting that it's very challenging for uh, the society to reduce carbon emission. Also, please recap the, the figure two, uh, which is directly related to Japanese firm's carbon performance. From figure two, we can see that from 1950 to 2019, the majority of the electricity was supplied by fossil energy. And especially after 2011, the Tohoku earthquake, we still can see that uh, government tried to suspend the nuclear plant and the loss of the, the, the power uh, uh, provided by the nuclear plant actually was covered by fossil energy including natural gas, oil, and coal. And this is the, the fact re regarding to uh, Japanese society. And I would like to show you more details regarding the, the crisis. So this is related to the recent uh, invasion of Russia. Uh, as the side effect, we can see that I, I pick up this news because it impressed me a lot. And uh, it, it says that uh, one Saudi Arabia company actually during this crisis becomes the most valuable company in the world, have higher value than Apple. So when talking about the most valuable company in the world, uh, usually we expected that that company should be the most innovative company that should create the kind of improve the uh, well-being of the society. Uh, they should deliver uh, the most, uh, the best product. However, the uh, irony is that now the energy company, the oil company becomes the most valuable company as the side effect of the U Ukraine Russia issue. Another issue is uh, uh, related to actually Euro. So as you can see the, uh, from this figure uh, or this table, suggesting that uh, after the Russians uh, decide to reduce the gas supply to German, it seems that we, we're going, to, going back to the starting point because um, originally German had planned to shift from fossil energy power plant to clean, uh, cleaner energy power plant but due to the, the sudden uh, reduce of supply they decided to postpone the plant and reopen the uh, fossil energy firing power plant. So from the, the above mentioned fact, we know that uh, from the global level, country level, uh, we still see that the challenge facing our society. In addition to that, uh, because my area is corporate finance, I would like to introduce the, the mi micro level, that is corporate level. Uh, I, I would like to introduce another news article related to Toyota. Okay, so Toyota has warned the, the UK government if they decided to uh, prohibit the sale of hybrid car, they will consider withdraw the production from UK. So uh, we know that Toyota are uh, worried they have the uh, technology advantage in terms of the hybrid car, hydrogen car, and, but they kind of hesitate to ship from hybrid car to EV car. So why? Of course, there are many, many perspectives, uh, but I would like to introduce one idea why Toyota had to shift from the current business model to EV car. Uh, please look at the uh, next slide. And actually, this highlights uh, why it's difficult for CEO to reduce carbon emission. Because from the case of Toyota, we already learned that if you ask CEO of Toyota to shift 
immediately from hybrid car to EV car. Obviously, they need to abandon the existing business model, which they have invested a lot of money into that project. And also, if you ask Toyota to consider the, uh, the, the clean uh, procurement they need to look for, uh, cleaner supplier and customer uh, when they uh, buy in the raw material, which will also increase the cost of the uh, company. So considering the CEO, they're facing a lot of pressure from the stock market, I think they are hes hesitating to uh, invest a lot in the environment issue because it will definitely hurt the profitability of the company. So taken together, uh, why carbon emission is so important? Because we already learned from the previous discussion that it's extremely difficult for the society to reduce carbon emission without the joint effort. And I think this is the background why I am currently working on this research. And uh, as we discussed, the carbon emission is important, but management, they hesitate to reduce carbon emission because it's costly. So we need some devices to push management to do some positive change. So one potential device is the gender diversity of all. So let me uh, jump into the detail of this research. So please look at this figure. So this figure uh, actually show us the the proportion of company with at least uh, one female directors. Uh, as you can see that in 2005 and 2006, it's only around 5%. I think this reflecting the fact that Japan is a male-dominated society. It's very difficult for female to climb the corporate ladders, especially to the management level. Uh, but due to the great initiative by uh, former Prime Minister Abe Shinzo san uh, in 2015, there is a softer role called the Act on Promotion of Female Participation and uh, Career Advance. We see a big jump about the, the proportion of firm with at least one female director. So by 2018, we now have around 30% of the company in Japan that has at least one female director. So my research asks two simple questions. So the first one is, after the in end of the new softer role, whether female can reduce carbon emission. Uh, they are more socially responsible and uh, they care about others' well-being. If that is the case, we should expect that a female can push management to do some positive change. And our second question is, under what condition can female uh, more effectively in terms of the carbon reduction? Uh, next slide actually showed our main finding. Uh, so as our uh, expectation, uh, we do find that uh, when the company hire more female directors, they tend to show lower carbon intensity. This is very important. Uh, but we also find a heter heterogeneous effect of female directors. So first, we found that when a female was coming from inside, or in other words, when female is the employee of this company, it's difficult for them to say something different to their boss, the CEO. I think this is uh, reasonable because uh, if you are uh, affiliated with the company and if your boss don't want to pursue ESG issue, it's difficult for, even though they, they, they care about this issue, it's difficult for inside female director to force the management to do some policy change. On the other hand, we see that when the female was appointed from outside, uh, it's obviously that they can in kind of deliver their voice to the management to uh, pursue some positive change. And also, uh, we also asked the question is that uh, under what condition a uh, female can be more effective? And we found that corporate captures and CEO's powerfulness actually matters for the role of female director. For example, if the CEO is very powerful CEO, then maybe he stayed for the company for 10 or 20 years, uh, he's the most powerful guy. So even though for the female outside director, it's difficult for them to change the mind, mindset of the CEO. Uh, another uh, example is that if this company is not open for diversity, uh, female still have limited role in terms of carbon emission. 
So taken together, uh, the implication is increasing females' participation and increase the uh, proportion of female leader is very important. But also, it's also important to create an environment that is friendly to female, so that female can play their role and uh, contribute to the society, at least through the carbon emission. So my future research is still focusing on the carbon emission, but from different angles, uh, especially I'm trying to look for other corporate government devices uh, that can uh, contribute to the carbon reduction. So I'm going to show you uh, three main uh, factors that might have important impact. The first one is I would like to focus on institutional investor. So generally speaking, there are two types of investors. One is individual investor like you and me. Another type is institutional investor like the bank insurance company, mutual fund, hedge fund. So the difference between individual investor and institutional investor is we individual investor, our only interest is financial return. It's, it's, it's costly for individual investor to monitor CEO. So we need uh, the, the institutional investors who are capable to do the monitoring of CEO uh, to push the management to do the positive change. And the second potential direction for future research is individual investor. Even for individual investor, if they own more than 1% of the share, they can propose some agenda in a shareholder meeting. So this is the case of the Mitsubishi UFJ financial groups. I think it's the biggest bank in Japan. Uh, considering the importance of bank in the economy because uh, they, they make loan to a lot of business, so they need to do the screaming, what kind of company they want to make loan to, uh, especially for social responsible investor. We, we expected that the bank should, shouldn't make loan to polluting company. So that, that, that is one shareholders in the shareholder meeting. They propose that Mitsubishi UFJ Bank, they should be more transparent in the screaming process and they should take the ESG factor into their account. Uh, however, unfortunately, uh, the voting results suggest that uh, only 20% of the vote are for the proposal and this means that this proposal get rejected. However, this is a big step for individual investor. So if you are a social responsible individual investor, if you really care about the, uh, in, uh, the social issue, environment issue, I think that there's still a way that individual investor can contribute to the society through this kind of diamond in a shareholder meeting. Third uh, research question is about the supply chain issue. Uh, we know that, let me take uh, Toyota as an example uh, again. So Toyota, for example, uh, they reduce carbon emission by 20% this year. Can we say that uh, Toyota do a good job in carbon performance? I think it depends because in order to deliver a car, this requires the whole supply chain, including the raw material to the production and to the delivery. So we, we need to ask the question, the total carbon emission in the whole supply chain. Uh, recently, uh, there's an increasing number of companies report their carbon emission. However, little company report the emission by the whole supply chain. So I think the future direction is to investigate uh, how can company can reduce the total carbon emission in terms of the supply chain rather than a single company. Okay, then that's all my current research and research plan. And I think it's a very important issue and uh, it deserves further exploring. I will commit myself to this project and I hope that my research can have some positive impact into our society through my research. And thank you so much for your time and listening.